Hey, good afternoon, JCPS. Happy Friday. Hope you had a great week. Uh, I'm excited to be taking, taping our weekly wrap up uh, back home at Doss High School, where I've spent the past couple years before this year as principal after a long week. It's good to see some uh, friendly faces, uh, great teachers, administrators, and students here at Doss High School. We're here for the ribbon cutting of our Class Act Federal Credit Union branch at DOS. Uh, nearly a year ago, we started uh, planning here at DOS how we could uh, relocate the Class Act Federal Credit Union branch to the front of the school. Uh, this is a great opportunity for students to have uh, relevant real world experience in an academy model where they take their core content classes uh, within the Business and Finance Academy all together. Then they get the, the opportunity during the school day to operate and work in an actual uh, credit union as a part of Class Act. So as you walk in this branch, it's at the very front of the school now with a front door so community members have great access to the branch and can use this Class Act uh, credit union branch. Uh, but students get the opportunity to actually work the branch like any other branch um, in the system, get to do real world experience and it gives them a leg up on job opportunities. It's an excellent example, one example of the Academies of Louisville initiative in 11 of our high schools with all of our pathways that work to get students on a pathway, have real world relevant experience in their class, um, get them the opportunity to do things like uh, job uh, shadows, uh, field trips to businesses, and then even apprenticeships as they move into their senior year where they're actually doing the work. And then when they graduate, uh, they're both college and career ready. That's our focus with the Academies of Louisville and having our kids do actual work uh, in the field. This is one example of that in many of the pathways uh, throughout our community. Excited about the progress uh, and what these 11 high schools are doing with the Academies of Louisville. Also had the chance to present the Academies of Louisville initiative to the Builders Industry Association, uh, which is giving uh, one example of us providing um, workers in fields that are in so need of trained and skilled workers. Uh, this includes business and finance, medicine and health, uh, manufacturing and construction and skilled trades, uh, engineering, fields all across our community uh, that, that need skilled trade and skilled workers uh, that require post-secondary education. Uh, and the Academies of Louisville is the initiative that is working hard to fill that need throughout our community. Really excited about this initiative as we move forward. Also held our November principal meeting this week at the Fraser History Museum. Want to thank Fraser for allowing us to come down and use their facility to train all of our principals. A lot of our principals meeting this month was challenging our principals to continue that work on culture and climate in their schools while also making sure that we are compliant uh, throughout JCPS with all statutes, laws, and regulations. So had an excellent morning of work with our principals. Also wanted to touch on the kickoff of our JCPS Gives campaign. Uh, throughout the past five years, unfortunately, um, the employee's contribution to JCPS Gives has declined. We want to reverse that trend and make this a very positive year. All organizations uh, that we donate to are organizations that significantly impact the students of JCPS. So I'd encourage all of our employees to make sure please give this year in the JCPS Gives campaign. You can check which group you would like to donate to when you do that. I specifically want to highlight it's a special year for Metro United Way as it's their 100th year anniversary. Uh, so we're committed to making sure that th those donations to those, these impactful organizations increases at JCPS employees. Check your email. You should have gotten an email recently from me uh, that gives you a link to donate. Please donate. We want this to be a record year for donations to, our, to these organizations in our JCPS Gives campaign. Finally, also uh, in the news yesterday, as you know, I held a press conference concerning incidents at Jefferson Town High School uh, this uh, past week. I've said many times since the beginning of the year, culture and climate uh, within our schools is imperative to me. Um, we're concerned about that culture and climate as it exists right now at Jefferson Town High School. We are committed uh, to highlighting great works of culture and climate throughout our schools, but also fixing and improving those uh, that need work. 
the link to yesterday's press conference is available on our website for more information, but we are committed to doing this and supporting the fantastic teachers, staff, and employees at Jaytown High School to make sure that they have a healthy and safe academic learning climate. Once again, another busy week here in JCPS. We're working hard every single week to move forward, grow, and improve. Hope you do the same thing. Get some rest this weekend and get ready to come back next week for another great week. Thank you.